a force of 15 newton is required to pull up a body of mass 2 kg through a distance of 5 meter along an inclined plane making an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal as shown diagram i will shown so here we you have to calculate the work done by force in pulling the body force due to gravity work done against the force due to gravity and account the difference so this question we will see carefully see so in this question a 15 newton force is required to pull up a body of mass 2 kg so this body mass is 2 kg through a distance of 5 meter this distance we have 5 meter along this inclined plane which is making an angle 30 degree with the horizontal which is shown in figure so actually this block is moved in the upward direction by this force by this 15 newton force okay and the mass of the block is given as 2 kg okay that you can also convert it into newton but mass is given as 2 kg now we have to calculate first question we have work done by force in pulling the body means how much is the work done by a force to pull this block on this inclined plane now carefully see in this question what is the major mistake mostly student will done student will do work done it as f s cos theta so force we have 15 displacement we have 5 and cos 30 okay so there we, they will calculate and this answer is wrong this is the wrong answer why carefully see f s cos theta will only apply when there is angle between force and displacement or if there is angle between force and displacement like this so in this case only cos theta will apply otherwise you can't apply the cos theta here in this case carefully see force in this direction and displacement is also occur in this direction force and displacement direction is same if force and displacement direction is same then you can't apply the formula fs cos theta in this case angle is zero so simply we will use the formula w is equals to f into s so force in this case we have 15 newton and displacement in the inclined plane on the inclined plane we have 5 meter so here we got 75 joule so in this case work done we got 75 joule now why we have not applied cos theta this concept must be clear okay next we have force due to gravity force due to gravity this force i am talking about force due to gravity that block which is f is equals to m into g force we have or oh sorry mass we have 2 kg which is given in the question and g value we have 9.8 so here we got m into g this we got 19.6 newton so force due to gravity we got it as 19.6 newton next we have to calculate work done against the force due to gravity work done against the force means what this block is moving upward okay this block here we have to see it is moving upward against the force of gravity so now we have to use work done formula as f into s force in this case we will take this force m into g which we have already calculated 19.6 newton now we have to see the displacement what is the displacement carefully see in this direction we have to take the displacement basically in this question we have three displacement one this displacement one this displacement and one more displacement we have which is this displacement if i mark it as a b c now carefully tell me when force is applied in this direction work done we have force and displacement in the direction of force so according to this force in the direction of force displacement we have this bc so ultimately we have to calculate this value of bc now how we will calculate force we have 19.6 displacement we have to calculate which is bc which is actually a height okay this height we have to calculate and if you will see apply the trigonometric formulas 
so here we have this is theta angle and in front of angle we have a perpendicular and this is base and 90 in front of we have a hypotenuse clear now perpendicular we have to calculate and hypotenuse we have which formula we will use pandit badri prasad har har bole sona chandi tole this is the mnemonics now what we will use we need perpendicular we have hypotenuse so we use s s means sin theta so sin theta we got it as here we will calculate sin theta we have perpendicular which is bc over hypotenuse which is ab sin theta theta in this case we have 30 degree and bc value we have to calculate height and here we have hypotenuse as 5 sin 30 sin 30 value we have 1 by 2 so put the value as 1 by 2 here so h we got it as 5 by 2 meter clear 5 by 2 we got it as height so now 19.6 into 5 by 2 now when you will multiply this you will got work done against the force of gravity we got it as 49 joule clear so this is the way in which you will calculate the work done against the force of gravity so here you need a h so you can also remember the formula that w is equals to mgh you can remember this formula this height represent the vertical height clear not a base not an inclined height we are getting it as a vertical height next we have account the difference in the answer in part 1 and part 3 part 1 answer let's calculate part 1 answer we got it as 75 joule and part 2nd we got it as 49 so part 1 we have 75 joule and next we have 49 so this we got it as 26 joule so why why there is a difference carefully see this is the total work done 75 is the total work done in moving in this case block is moving in this direction also in this direction also means when the block is moving on the inclined plane height is also get raised as well as it is also moving on a rough inclined plane so this 26 joule is nothing but it is the force of this is the force of we have friction clear this is a force of friction friction is applied by the rough inclined plane on the block so to overcoming the friction some force is required and overcoming this friction work done is also required so this work done is basically to overcome the friction clear this part